What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, we, we live in a world where people are not serious about being accountable for their problems. It's always somebody else's fault why they can't keep themselves together. Especially for those people who have a lot to lose. You know, a lot to lose. Like, you know, people who are, let's say, police officers who do stupid stuff. Preachers, Jamal Harrison, Brian, I'm looking at you. And then, you know, people in the military. Because people in the military are, you know, are in that same lane. As pastors, doctors, people that society holds in high prestige. Okay. So if you have that position, you know that there are certain things that you better not do. Otherwise, there's going to be problems. But not Akeisha Norris. Now, who is Akeisha Norris? Akeisha Norris was a military sergeant for the army. And guys who've been in the military, I would assume that sergeant, you know, is it's commendable to get that position, right? And she was serving the country in Kuwait. Now, a problem that I have with certain sisters is that although they have reached, and hear me out on this, a lot of sisters have reached to a level of success, even beaten men in, 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 in the progress of getting to where they go. But somehow they find themselves dealing with things that are less than what they should be and getting themselves in positions or where they're going to lose. And this is what Akeisha Norris found herself doing. Now, doesn't matter that you're doing well, you're still attracted to hood rat culture. And so what you're going to do is you're going to be twerking to young Dolph. Now, young Dolph's a rapper. Don't know too much about him, but with a name like young Dolph, I mean, come on now, like, like how, bright, how bright can this guy be? Young Dolph. What the hell is a Dolph? Nigga, like 48 years old talking about Young Dolph. All right? Let, 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 let's be honest here. So you're supposed to be working in Kuwait, which you're probably making good money, no taxes over there. And while you're working, you're just twerking it up to his song. All right? You sent him the video, twerking to his music, you got your little military uh, stuff on. L luckily, you didn't have the military sandals on. You got the boots, booty just bouncing everywhere, just all over booty, just uh, here, there, everywhere. So you, so he gets a hold of it because you and him were friendly. So he takes you dancing um, and bouncing your booty and he puts it up on his website. Why? Because young Dolph is stupid. Number one, you're dumb for even dancing to the music and sending it to him. And then he's dumb for posting it because he just got your ass in all of trouble. But this is what happens when you deal with Pookies and Ray Rays, like a young Dolph. But it gets better, guys. He took the video, put it on his website, up to the release of the role model. So the superior saw this, and I believe she's actually in the National Guard, and disciplined her. So what they said was, you can't be leading people in the military while you're bouncing your booty to Young Dolph's hits. You can't do that. So you're relieved of your duties. Take your ass back to the United States. Not that you're fired. Not that you're... Just to go back to the USA. Because you shouldn't have even been dancing to this or doing that. It's not even that it's up there. You shouldn't have been stupid enough to record yourself doing it and put it on the air. So since you're dumb and we can't, you know, uh, have you here, go back. That's probably what they said. But then what ended up happening was she was disciplined and she said this. Take your music. All right. 
Sad music. Oh my God. They have found out that I was twerking in these military fatigues. I was bouncing the booty in these boots. These beat up work boots. I'm having a mental breakdown. My mental is breaking down, down, mentally, break, finger snap, snap, snap. I can't do anything now. I can't focus because I've been demoted. So now I have to get dismissed from the military. Now you guys hear that, that sounds like a bunch of crock because it is, and it gets worse. Her lawyer, said that she developed PTSD after he posted her image without her consent. And she is suing the rapper for invasion of privacy and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Now she wants to sue him for all the money that she lost because young Dolph humiliated her, caused her mental anguish and damaged her reputation. But the question is this, who made you Number one, become a young Dolph fan, which you'd have to be an idiot for that. Who made you do that? And then secondarily, who made you record yourself dancing to his music? And who wanted him to see him, you know, you wanted to have him see you bouncing your booty everywhere, right? You wanted to see that. So because you did that, now you're suing him. But you know what? If you would never recorded the video, you would still be in the military, wouldn't you? Yeah, you actually still would be in the military because see the person that is the most responsible for what you did is you. It's almost like a person who is outside. Now I know this is not a criminal thing what, what she did or anything like that. But let's say you're somewhere doing something something wrong that you shouldn't be doing. Somebody records you doing it. Do you get mad at the person and say, you know what? I shouldn't, you, 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 I'm gonna sue you because you recorded me doing something that I shouldn't have been doing. And again, here it goes. While a lot of men are, are so upset in today's world with a lot of, you guys know where I'm going with this. Unaccountable. Like you don't have this problem with men. You have this problem with women. Okay. The fact of the matter is you shouldn't have been doing that. You shouldn't have been doing that. You know what happens with somebody of that ranking. You do that in the military that if you get caught doing it, there's a problem, but that's your fault. And I hope you lose, you need to lose because you made the mistake. But again, this is why America is gonna have a problem. That's why countries like China, countries in the East, India, they're gonna catch up. Some of them are already catching up because in America, people can't be accountable for doing stupid shit. They just can't. Like in America, it's okay to be like, to do the dumbest things in America, it's fine. Like it, you wanna be an idiot, it's cool. Do things that make no sense. And it's totally great. Somebody's gonna bail you out. But the problem is this, you like Pookie and Ray Ray music, okay? Now I want everybody to understand this. We see this all the time in the black community. Sisters who have good jobs, sisters who have good careers, find themselves with a guy like Young Dolph, and then when he messes up their life, because see, she's messing with guys like this too probably. I bet you her boyfriends can't read and write. I wouldn't be surprised. Because look at what you're doing. And when you get in a situation and it's a problem with the guy, you're mad at everybody else. You need to be mad at yourself. And I think it's bogus, guys. But you know how it works in liberal America in 2020. Guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Dude Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you 
for all that you do. Um, check me out here at the first comment to the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. Really appreciate that that, that player. Uh, keep buying all my shirts. Guys, thank you for supporting the Black Manosphere. Check out the website, negromanosphere.com. And as you brothers know, the Patreon, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.